I am Cat Detective. I am the greatest detective in Big Town. <laughs> Excuse me? Jep, that's me. Greatest detective in Big Town. Come to think of it, maybe the greatest detective of all time. And what do you do? Who, me? I'm just a humble vacationer. Well, not everyone is cut out to be busy and important. Like me, the greatest detective of all time. Aren't you dying to know what makes me the greatest detective of all time? I can't wait. <laughs> of course you can't. I am the greatest detective of all time because I can find out anything about anyone. If there is dirt to dig up about you, I will dig it up. If you have secrets, I will find them out. Does that make you uncomfortable? Not particularly. Ah, they all say that. And I always say, you don't have to like me for it, but I can't help being honest. I could kill that cat. Hey, easy pal, ain't that a little over dramatic? Hey, can I ask you something? You been going through a lot of stress of late? Well, now you mention it, I guess I have. Hey, no need to feel ashamed, it happens to the best of us. If you need an open ear, you can come to me anytime. Lending an ear to the dejected, that's uh, kind of part of my job. The other part is torturing there is, am I right? I'm the singing bartender, good to meet you, pal. My name's George. I'm here on vacation. Ah! Hey, Skipper, we got a cat overboard here. Hey, cat overboard! Quick, George, save the cat! Yeesh, that's one wet cat. Well, thank you, Porky. Not that I needed any help in the first place. Don't you know that cats have nine lives? Look, George, there's the island. Hey, look at that. Relax island, George. Ain't it something? Palm trees wafting gently in the breeze. Hot springs bubbling for your pain release. There's a reef to explore with fish galore. <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, I come here every year, George. And it's the holiday of a lifetime. The hotel bar is better stocked than any bar in Big Town. Heck, it might just be the greatest bar of all time. Believe me, George, one day on Relax Island will feel like a week. Beyond the waves breaking over the sand Lies an ancient and magical land So much beauty for a stranger to find The perfect haven for body and mind About the spring's glowing nuclear green where folks will go never again to be seen Limitless wonders for all to behold As long as you do what you're told
Can I take your luggage, sir? Definitely. I am much too busy and important to carry my own luggage. I guess I'll carry my own luggage. No. No. That goes here. Nah. No. Nah. That goes there. Nope. Just carry this bit. Uh. Yep. No. Okay. Nah. Uh, uh, yes. No. No. And? Uh, that goes here. That goes there. And we're good. Fully loaded. Hello, hello. Another guest? I'm Pig Detective. But I assume the hotel was completely booked. Never mind, good chap. I do prattle on sometimes. My name is Plumage, by the way. That's Lord Plumage, actually. But my friends call me Plummy. I've never had a friend who was a pig before. But first time for everything, I suppose. Oh, do go on and go in. Don't let me keep you. I expect I'll be seeing you around the island. There's quite a lot of it, and I will be painting it all. Um, excuse me. Excuse you? You wait in line, Porky. Just like everyone else. I'll be with you in a minute, dear. Now, if you could just sign our guest book right here, and I will get you your key. You will be in room 207. Room 207? But I told you, I want the violin room. Well... I am sorry, dear, but I have told you I can't give you the violin room. It is already taken. Already taken? But how can it be taken if I wasn't here to take it? Don't you know who I am? No, dear, but you can put it in our guest book. I am the famous cat detective. Oh, that's very nice, dear. But it won't change anything about the rooms, I'm afraid. You're in room 207. But I don't want to be in room 207. I can't be in room 207. The violin room is the only room I can be in. Do you want to know why? No, dear, I don't. But I'm sure you will tell me. Well, if you must know... The violin room is the only possible room for me because it has a violin in it. All great detectives play a violin, and I am the greatest detective of all time, so it follows that I must have the violin room. Do you understand that? Yes, dear, but you see, the violin room is already taken. The hotel is almost completely booked. Room 207 is the last room I have left. It is a very nice room, too. Oh, very well. I'll take it. But I must say this is very shabby service. And no way to treat the greatest detective of all time. 
Please sign the book for your key. Now, how can I help you, dear? I need a room. Or a room? Do you have a reservation? Um... Well, I am sorry, dear, but we are completely booked. I just gave away my last room. But I won this vacation. Here's my letter from Rayburn's Humbugs that says so. Your what? My letter says that I won the great Rayburn's Humbugs raffle. It says right here. First prize, one week vacation in luxury hotel Relax Grand on Relax Island. Starting today. You see? I am sorry, dear, but I've never heard of this raffle. And we are completely booked. But it says here that I won a week's vacation, starting today. You take part in raffles, Porky. What a stupid way to book a holiday. Uh, come to think of it, I don't remember taking part in any raffles. Has that wretched diva got to now? The shoot was supposed to start 20 minutes ago. Bet it's that dandy character. I never knew a doc spent so much time with a makeup artist when he's not even getting his makeup done. <laughs> As his manager, I advise Mr. Gander not to talk to just anybody. Mr. Gander's voice is very precious and must be preserved for more important occasions. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't let you into the elevator with all that luggage. Excuse me. There seems to be a misunderstanding about the vacation that I won in your raffle. My raffle? I do not organize any raffles. And if I did, I would not let you win any of them. And what are you doing here anyway? You should be dead. Dead? Did I say dead? I must have got a humbug stuck in my windpipe. But... Georgie, Georgie, what a pleasant surprise! Diva, I thought I told you not to call me Georgie Porgie, duckling. Oh, please. You've never approved of anything I do. That's not true. What are you doing here, anyway? I'm working. We're making a film. Duckling, how many times have I told you? Ducks should not be in films. We've talked about this so many times. Oh, nonsense, Georgie Bodgy. Dandy is in the film too. And he is a duck. Oh, really? And what role does he play? He's the monster. It's a monster movie. Ah, it's a monster movie. Do you think that makes the monster the leading man? <laughs> What did he say? Oh, stop being jealous, Georgie Porgie. We agreed you would not stick your snout into my affairs anymore. Anyways, what are you doing here? I'm here on vacation. On vacation? You? I can go on vacation if I want to. But that is so unlike you. And anyways, Detox Island is hardly the place for vacation. I'm still the same old joker, Jody Bodgy. I thought it was Relax Island. <laughs> oh, you're just too funny! Is he funny, Dandy? <laughs> Looks like I won't be staying here anyway. Apparently, the hotel is completely booked. Completely booked? Oh no! Well, let's see about that. I'm frightfully sorry!
sorry to bother you with this, Mrs. Meek, but this gentleman here needs a room. Oh, I know, dear. He told me so, but I'm afraid we are completely booked. Oh, I understand, Mrs. Meek. Wasn't there any old room you could give him? Like an attic room or something? I'd be content with that. Well, there is an attic, but you don't want us to put the guests there, dear. One of our chambermaids stayed in the attic until she said she wouldn't anymore. She swore it was haunted. I know! Give him my room. Your room? Your room, dear? But that's... Your room. Where will you stay? It's no trouble. I can easily stay with Dandy in Mr. Duck's room. No trouble? You staying in a room with another duck? I dare say there might be trouble, dear. Really, Duckling, this is inconceivable. You working in films and wearing trousers is one thing, but staying in another duck's room... Oh, come off it, Georgie Podgy. Just give him my key. And please, tell the bell up to move my things. I'm late enough for my shoe as it is. But... Look, Georgie Podgy, I dearly love to argue with you about this, but I really don't have the time. They're waiting for me. I must get can thank me later. Meet me in the hotel bar later, and then we can talk. Well, that is one decisive young duck. Dear, I'll get you your key. Please sign the guest book in the meantime. Room 107. It must be on this floor. I'm not going to haul my luggage up another flight of stairs. I've managed to pack all of Miss Diva's things. If there is anything I overlooked and you find it, could you please just give it to her yourself? Of course I can. I'm much obliged, sir. Oh, and one more thing. Please do not attempt to play the violin. Mrs. Meek would be very put out if anything happened to it. It has great sentimental value for her. I can't believe it! They put you in the violin room, Porky? What did you do to get the violin room? I wanted the violin room. I always get the violin room. They told me I couldn't have it, and now you have it. It's not fair. Why is it so important to you which room you stay in? Do you even play the violin? Do I even play the violin? Of course I play the violin. All great detectives play the violin. Not that you would know anything about that, Porky. The violin's a tough instrument. Not that tough, apparently. Have fun with your violinless violin room, Porky. Oh no! Oh, that's a long way down. What will Mrs. Meek say? Oh, what a mess! Ah! 
Au. Oh no, oh, Mrs. Meek say. I need to get this fixed. I can't use this here. Rope's always useful. I can't combine these. No, it's not going to work. This no, I can't use this here. Maybe... No. I don't have any coins. Dangerous. Shouldn't be left lying around. People might hurt themselves. I fell off my balcony. You would? Well, that isn't the proper way to start off a holiday at all, dear. Probably not. Some people never learn to relax. It's in their nature. It seems like you need some guidance in that department. Come along, dear. The doctor is in. You are the doctor. As you see, dear. You seem surprised. I studied medicine and practiced as a doctor before I changed over to the hotel industry. That is my dark past, so to speak. You of all people should know what it is like to have a dark past, Mr. Big Detective. As I'm fond of saying, we all have a past. Only some of us keep it darker than others. But you're entitled to your secrets, young man. In here, the past is irrelevant. All that counts is your present state of health. I shall examine you now. How embarrassing. Can we at least close the shutters? Thank you. 
I am now going to measure your relaxation degree. Please open your mouth. Daddy. Oh dear. I really wonder why your feline friend called you Porky this morning. The scales say you are quite a lean pig. Cat Detective is not my friend. Well, I'm glad to hear it. For some people, it is much better for your health if you keep your distance. Please run on the treadmill. But I never run. But you should. Running is good for your health. It also makes you go faster. You can get to faraway places in a jiffy. Uh, uh. Uh, I can't keep this up. Uh, uh. Uh, I can't keep this up. Yes, that's quite enough now. Uh. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Please. But I never jump. I think I'm beginning to see your problem. jump is not very impressive. Still, it might be enough to get you out of some sticky situations. Well, it is all quite as I thought. You are overworked, underfed, and stressed out. Here is a list of all the recreational activities that we offer on this beautiful island. There is also a map so you can find them better. Please! Try to do every one of these activities today. And no skipping. You are not on holiday. You are here to relax. Oh, and one more thing. I don't know what you did to contract that unsavory green glow, but I can tell you that it is not very healthy. For detoxification purposes, I am prescribing a liver wrap. Please be in your room at half past five so I can administer it. In the meantime, enjoy your stay. Let me assure you, one day on this island will feel like a week. That was a lot to take in.
There is nothing to hear. He must not be in. Uh, uh. A stay away from home is not so scary when you have pictures of your loved ones with you. This must belong to Diva. I guess the bellhop overlooked it when he picked up her things. Actually, I, I can't. The memories, it's too painful. <laughs> 